All right, this will be a 365 day devotional, take one, June 10th, a conversation. Stretching my leg, as you can see. Have you ever seen me sitting like this? I'm probably stretching my gluteus medius because I must have had a hard day of running, which I did way early this morning. Just been trying to recover all day. After a good night's sleep and eating good carbohydrate and protein, I probably will recover nicely tomorrow and do it again tomorrow. This will be 365 Day Devotional. This is uh, from Max Lucado's book and from God's book, the Bible. But Max Lucado's book, God is with you every day. This will be for June 10th, a conversation. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Matthew 7, 8. Prayer for most of us is not a matter of a month-long retreat or even an hour of meditation. Prayer is a conversation with God while driving to work or waiting an appointment or before interacting with a client. Right on, Max Lucado. Prayer can be the internal voice that directs the external action. This much is sure. God will teach you to pray. Don't think for a minute that he is glaring at you from a distance with crossed arms and scowling, waiting for you to get your prayer life together. Just the opposite. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you, and you will eat with me. Revelation 3.20 Jesus waits on the porch. He stands on the threshold. He taps. He calls. He waits for you to open the door. To pray is to open the door. Prayer is the hand of faith on the door handle of your heart. The willing pull, the happy, the happy welcome to Jesus. Come in, O King, come in. We speak, he listens, he speaks, we listen. This prayer, in its purest form, God changes his people through such moments. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you, and you will eat with me. Revelation 3.20 for everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be open. Matthew 7, 8. Conversation. It's pretty bad. Let's see what Matthew 7, 8. I'm going to go into Matthew 7 and see what, get, the, get it in context. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and will and with the measure you use, it will be it will measure to you. Why do you look? Ah, my friend said that to me. She was wrong though. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? She just was bad at communication, not even responding to text at all. And one of our promised praise, one of our characteristics, we'll call it, is superior communication. That is everything in relationships. Responding quickly. Being patient, but responding quickly. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? She didn't have superior communication. I do have, but maybe I was lacking somewhere else. But she didn't say that. She just... How can you say to your brother, let, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls at pigs. If you do, they may trample them under your feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. Ask, seek, and knock. Ask it and will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks the door will be open. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then... Though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? In everything, 
do to others what you would have them do to you for this sums up the law and the prophet the narrow and the wide gates enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it but small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life and only few find it one more a tree and its fruits watch out for false prophets they come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bear, bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus. By their fruit you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell you, I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. I can go on and on with this in the in the parables. That's Matthew. That's Matthew. Uh, Matthew seven uh, seven one through about twenty three. Cool. All right. Three hundred and sixty five day devotional. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and him who knocks it will be open. Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you, and you will eat with me. Revelation 3.20. You're in a 6 5 day devotional. Holy Bible. Love you guys. We're leaving at that. No insight from me tonight. Remain patient. Patient endurance. Remain obedient. Remain full of love for everybody. Always show grace. Triple grace. And always show love. Treat others the way that you would like to be treated. I was just right there in Matthew 7. If a man is hungry, feed him. If they're thirsty, give them water. Even if you are personal training a client and they forget a water bottle, if you have a free one in the refrigerator, a sealed one that's cold, go get it for them. You don't need to discipline adults and say, you need to learn and remember your water bottle. Sometimes we just got too much going on. Grace, grace, grace. Go get them a water bottle. Alright, sweet, as simple as that. If your friend's hungry, give him food. There's nothing against that at all. But the only thing I see is people are not good receivers. You offer to swipe your card at the gas pump and they say, no, 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 no. Even though they were here for four hours trying to fix that and you knew it was going to be that way. <sighs> Obedience. Doing the will of the Father. Keep in your faith. Be constantly in prayer. In love with another. Yep. It's pretty cool stuff. Sometimes life can be exhausting, but that's because we're, there's somewhere in our life that there's not a balance. And we need to figure out what that is. It's so probably got to get that six, seven, eight hours of sleep. Preferably seven, eight. Yeah, about eight hours should be perfect. And that will be a good balance to give you enough energy to do what you got to do during the day but you still have to fuel up you still got to hydrate so keep that the sleep the fuel and the hydration an active lifestyle and then plenty of sleep you're good to go and of course staying in the word of god stay in the word of god and keep a close relationship be in prayer all day wherever you're at all right when you're about to see a client when you're about to go driving when you're about to do something new or confrontation just call on the name of Jesus. Be with me during this. That's it. Simple. Simple as that. So, all right. Love you guys. I will see you later. There is Mr. Ralph. Mr. Ralph is always fun to see. Mr. GoPro video. Nah, GoPro. Yeah, we'll keep it going. Say hey, Mr. Ralph. Put it there. You got any treats? He said, you got treats for me? You got treats for me, mister. He's very, very friendly, man. Oh, he says pet me right there. Alright, I'll pet you right there. What's his way? Same way. I got you, man. 
Who catches my man? Look, it's like a rabbit foot. Let's see the rabbit foot. Oh, it's beautiful. Very nice. Nice. Look at these nails. So, uh, these are very nice nails. You are a very ferocious kitty. This buttercup didn't hurt anybody. Oh, ah! I got weaknesses. Ah! Yeah, you're supposed to be my buddy. High five! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you all later. Mexicans, but God is with you. Holy Bible. Take care.